this week we welcome Johnny Cox to the hot seat. Uh, my name is Johnny Cox. I'm the associate head football coach here, uh, offense coordinator, and I coach the quarterbacks. Describe what you do in the worst way possible. Um, draw a bunch of lines and circles, and uh, hopefully it works. Sometimes it does, sometimes it doesn't. When did you come to UNCP, and what was your first impression of campus? Uh, this is my going into my seventh season, you know, here at, at UNCP. And I'd say uh, the first time I came to UNCP, I was living in Greensboro. Me and my family drove down. Uh, my wife's from Boston, and I'm from um, I'm from Denver. And we drove down here, and on the way down here, we were like, "Man, this is different." Like we had. We hadn't been to a small town, this, this setting here, um, but then when we arrived on campus, we really liked it. Really, uh, we saw the facilities, we saw the campus, and we fell in love with it. You know, we, we, uh, that was the moment that uh, really changed it for us. But on the way down here, yeah, that was, that was a little different for us. What was the best part about the run to the playoffs in 2016? Uh, that was a great season. There was a lot of uh, parts that went into it as far as, you know, um, the team coming together, uh, the talent that we had on the team. But I would say probably our playoff win against Valdosta, you know, though that, that game, um, I just knew that that day we were going to win, you know, and it was the first time the school had won or was good, had a chance to win, uh, I should say, opportunity to win the first round game. And uh, I could tell in warm-ups, I could tell the night before that we were ready. And I'd say that feeling right there, we just had to go out and, uh, and complete it. I knew we were going to do that. So that game was probably one of the best things about that run in 2016. When the football team takes the field in the spring, what can fans expect from the 2020-2021 Braves? Oh, we're going to be hungry. Uh, we've been doing nothing but preparing. Uh, kids are very excited. Uh, we're going to play with enthusiasm, with energy. Um, uh, we're real excited about the opportunity. You're going to see a bunch of guys out there trying to do whatever we can to, to get that victory. All righty, now it's time for the rapid fire questions. I'll ask a question and you give me the first thing that comes to your mind. Who was your role model when you were a child? My brother, my brother, a uh, big brother. He's uh, always tried to be as good as him. Uh, throughout sports, but uh, he's, he's tough. He's a really good player. What inspires you? What inspires me? Uh, family. I, uh, you know, like wake up every day trying to try to make a better I guess, situation for my girls. If you could be any animal in the world, what animal would it be and why? Any animal in the world I could be. Okay. Um, I would say like a, a cheetah. You know, always the fastest. Well, yeah, the fastest land animal. Yeah, the cheetah. Who will win in a fight between Spider-Man and Batman? I'm going Batman just because I like the movies. I mean, really, who knows? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> it's going to be a, a probably a, a what if or keep going, but I'd go with uh, Batman. Now it's time for the this or that segment. I will give you two choices and you choose the best option for you. Text message or phone call? Phone call. Amusement park or water park? Amusement park. TV shows or movies? Movies. Disney World or Bahamas? Bahamas. Burgers or tacos? Burgers. McDonald's or Burger King? <laughs> McDonald's. Milk or juice? Juice. Singing or dancing? Dancing. Ketchup or mustard? Ketchup. Google or Bing? Google. Johnny Cox, you are now off of the hot seat.